Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. So today we are doing another solar panel test. This time we are testing two panels that are pretty much identical in dimensions. They're both monocrystalline panels. This one is new, this one is used. This one was about half the price of the other one. So we're gonna compare them and see which one produces the more, most power. After I ordered these solar panels, I called them and I asked how old they were. I was surprised to find out that these were only five years old. I'll just show you the stickers between both of the panels. The new solar panel is a Canadian solar panel and the used one is a Jinko panel from Santan Solar. So I was looking for a panel to put on my RV. So I decided to buy the new panels for my RV because I had limited space up there. But after searching on Santan Solar's website, I noticed some panels that are the exact same dimensions, more or less, and these came up, 325 watts. So this video will tell me if I got screwed by buying these new ones. Maybe I should have just stuck with the used solar panels. So the initial testing of these used solar panels has been very good. I even ordered a full pallet and I sold them in my local classifieds. I've got a video on that, but the money from selling those used solar panels is gonna to go to a future solar project I have. And one of those projects is to put solar on the roof of this shed, uh, hopefully eliminate my power bill. So I ended up getting another full pallet of these used solar panels. If I use the, all the money from selling my used solar panels here towards these solar panels, these solar panels would have ended up costing me $30 per panel. So 30 bucks for a 325 watt solar panel. That's pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and start the test. Here are the panels side by side. All right, here's the cloudy test. It's actually raining out here this morning. So I might keep this on here for two hours, but I'll show you what we got here. We've got the battery. I've got both these inverters hooked up to the same battery. If I hook them up to separate batteries, uh, one battery might have like a slightly, might be able to accept more of a charge than the other battery. So I didn't want any sort of conflict happening with that. So they're all charging the same battery. This battery can definitely handle this and then uh, so we'll first hook the Victron up to the used solar panel we'll do the power queen up to the new solar panel let this run for a while see how much power we collect throughout that period of time and then we'll switch it and do the same thing just to make sure we're not being uh, biased with the charge controllers so that's a test let's hook it up okay I just plugged it in well with this, with this rain we're not getting any power hardly Two watts, three watts, about three watts. Hopefully, that when they're when, notice once the rain stops and it's just cloudy, then a lot more solar comes through. So hopefully, it'll stop and we'll get some more power coming through. But this will be a a good general test for cloudy conditions. This will measure the amp hours we collect over time and watt hours. We're going to measure it in watt hours, so these meters measure both. We'll just let this sit for a couple hours. Okay, so it's stopped raining. It's still really dark out here and there's a lot of water on the solar panels. Before I collect um, how much energy they've collected the, in the last two hours, I'm curious to see if how much uh, squeegeeing the solar panels will help the solar production. So right now I'm collecting uh, 13 watts actively and 13 watts. Okay, looks like the squeegee didn't really help that much. Okay, let's see how much power they've generated in these last two hours. All right, the new panel has generated a total of 21.7 watt hours. The used panel, the used panel has generated a total of 20.8 watt hours. So pretty close. We'll switch the Victron over to the new solar panel and the Power Queen over to the used solar panel. Here I am first disconnecting the solar from each charge controller. And now I'm taking off the battery terminals from the meters. So the meters are fully cleared 
if I were to keep that battery connected, the meter remembers the previous value and just adds to it. So everything should be zeroed out right now. I'm first hooking up the used solar panel to the Power Queen charge controller here. Now I'm going to hook the new solar panel up to the Victron. It's starting to rain again. Guys, it looks like the sun's just starting to come out, so we better stop our shady test. It's been about two hours, but these clouds just started breaking up. But let's see how much power we got. Definitely more than before. Okay, here is the used solar panel connected to the Power Queen. Let's see what we got here. Hundred and forty two watt hours. The new hundred and fourteen watt hours for the new solar panel. Wow. After editing this video, looking at my watts that are coming through on the used solar panel in this next clip coming up, you can see that it's over four hundred watts out of the three hundred and twenty five watt used solar panel. So that's really crazy. I have heard of when a uh, sun comes through the clouds, like it can like focus the sun more and you can get more generation than you typically would get over a hundred percent, but I've never seen that before. So maybe the used solar panel is like able to accept that, that and the new one isn't, I don't know, but it's taking in a lot of power for some reason right now. It's kind of a weird scenario. So it definitely looks like the old used solar panel won this competition. The sun is out fully right now. But 116 watt hours on the bottom one, which is the new solar panel. And the used solar panel is 155 watt hours. Wow, now that the sun's out, it's cranking up the power. I'm just gonna write that down and disconnect it because we have sun. Okay, time for the sunny test. This is the test I've really been looking forward to. Got them at pretty much the exact same angle, pointed directly at the sun. It's 10.30 in the morning here. If I wait till the afternoon, sometimes I get some haze. So I'm just gonna do it right now. You can see it's very scientific with my uh, rototiller here, propping everything up. Okay, we're just gonna do the used solar panel first. No, this is the new solar panel, sorry. We're reading 96 watts. Really interesting. It's going down. Battery's at 66%. I thought it would be doing way better than this. Looks like what happened was my meter was wrong on my battery. It jumped right up to 100%. So it went into float charge mode. That's why it wasn't accepting very much of a charge. We got sun. Oh yeah. Okay. I drained this battery down. No shading going on. I cleaned the panels off. Okay. Plug it in. Sorry about that glare, that scratch. I'll give it a minute to settle in. Okay, looks like it's settling in at 290. This is the new panel, brand new panel. 296. Switch to the other one. All right, here's the used panel. I'll give it a little bit here. So they're pretty much the same. I'm gonna say they're identical. That's looking pretty much identical to me, 296. Setting on 296. That is crazy. Exactly the same results. Now look at this. I've noticed that this has uh, these cells. There's 120 of these little cells on here. If you look at this solar panel, there's the exact same number of cells, except the edges, they're a little sharper than these edges. All right, so that's it. 
So it looks like during the full sun test, the new and solo used solar panels were pretty much the same. And during the uh, cloudy test, the first cloudy test when it was raining thick clouds, the new solar panel hooked up to the Power Queen one with 21 watt hours. The used solar panel hooked up to the Victron was 20 watt hours. But the real interesting test was when we had partial sun coming out of the clouds. And that was really interesting because when the new solar panel was hooked to the Victron, I received a total of 114 watt hours. And then when the used solar panel was hooked to the Power Queen, I was getting, I got 142 watt hours. So the used solar panel totally killed it. I'm not quite sure what to contribute that to. So the one other thing I could think of is the Victron may have been regulating those fluctu fluctuations more to give more of a pure flat curve of power going into your battery. I'd be interested to see what you guys think about that. But, but anyways, I'm gonna love my used solar panels, I think. I don't know why you would buy new solar panels, personally. Perhaps in a scenario where you have a ground array off the, and you wanna have a bifacial solar panel, maybe you should buy new in that scenario and you want a really specific size. But I think that Sandhan Solar also sells used bifacial solar panels as well. So that may not even be an argument for new solar panels. Okay guys, it is raffle time. So if you want to be part of this raffle, all you have to do is use any of the affiliate links I have, as long as they're not Amazon affiliate links, you wanna support the companies, not Amazon. So if you shoot me an email of your order number after you, you have used the affiliate link, I'll confirm that and I will put your name on one of these balls here and you can win any of these products. So we have heated gloves, heated jacket, a bunch of batteries, 200 watt foldable solar panels, DC to DC converter, and more to come. Or in his Amazon, his gift card if, if you live in Australia. But, uh, so let's go ahead and try it. So we actually never got any orders last week, I'm sorry to say. So no one's buying anything right now. But if you want to uh, win one of these things, we'll have another raffle next week. I do videos every week. So guys, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you guys later.